Warning! The following episode of Don't Feed the Animals may contain certain side effects such as a altered perception of time or a distorted response to touch, sights or sounds, increased appetite, impaired reaction time, coordination difficulties, difficulty in thinking and problem solving, poor memory, dry mouth and or dry eyes, dizziness when standing, and slow digestion which may lead to constipation. In other words, the two idiots got really baked and decided to do a podcast on 420. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, don't feed the animals, signs all around. We talk a lot of junk, yeah, you vibing with us now. Build something from the ground up, yeah, we like to clown. Talk about some real stuff, yeah, something profound. It's a pleasure that you're hearing us. With it mess around. It's a topic of discussion worth talking that we bust and put a nail in the coffin. If you love it, then you love it. If you don't, don't mean nothing. Still bring it to the public. Uh, yeah, don't feed the animals. Put them in a cage. They couldn't handle truth. We gonna bust out the gate like some cannibals. Same face, same channel, messing with the tune. A bunch of idiots stuck in one room. Can't take us serious. You love what we feeding you. I want the show. Yeah, proceed with the interview. Local celebrities, snatch toy from your cereal. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to another fantastic episode of Don't Feed the Animals podcast with your host James, and with me on this very special occasion. Oh, we'll get into that in a second. Is my cousin DJ Daffy Cole's extraordinaire? By the way. Something in short. What'd you say? Co-host extraordinary. Co-host. Hmm. Nice. The title. We need a belt. Yeah. I'm doing this. Do it. Okay. The reason why this is gonna be a, this is a special occasion is because on the day of this recording, it is 4:20. And Taco Tuesday. And Taco Tuesday. And Titty Tuesday. And Titty Tuesday. And anything that you can think of that starts with a T. Yeah. And then just say Tuesday. And everyone's like, yes, let's do that. On a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. Yeah. You know, Testicle Tuesday. That's the day. Is that a thing? Testicle Tuesday? National Smoke Day. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's the real day, though. 420. So, if you were wondering, if you're sitting there going, if this is a 420 episode, what does it mean? It means that... Yes, we are partaking in the festivities. Thank you. Of the day. So, you get to hear a really, really, really good podcast or a really, really, really bad one. Are this going to be a good podcast? I think so too. But we'll see. Um. My watch was telling me I need to breathe. (laughs) (laughs) It's hilarious. (laughs) Fuck you, watch. I don't know shit. I used to know it all over here. Tell me when to breathe. Freaking technology. Hold my breath now. (laughs) I'm going to spite you now, watch. Um, So, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot. Hey, everybody. If you're still listening, um, uh, this is going to be the most off the cuff podcast that we've done so far like i have nothing prepared it's gonna be fun now i think it's gonna be funny yeah i just think of like you know that it could be really bad though because we just i don't know i'm just freaking out a little bit it's such really, a whore I, it could be a really really bad podcast all right negative nancy moving on i'm not a negative Nancy. this thing so what's up well Talk about something. 
that's it. 420 and uh, yeah. for people who aren't stoners and wonder why stoners exist. Let me enlighten you on things. They have this tradition, which I think it's whatever, just another reason for me to smoke more than one blunt. But real stoners smoke every day, which is what the late great Nate this Dog would say. Smoke weed every day. It's just very true in facts. But I guess the festive part about it would be is that, yeah, there'll be some parties where they'll have, you know, a bunch of people, well, a bunch of hippies, stoners, and everybody who likes smoking go out to these events and they'll have all these tabletops and they'll just be, oh, hey, try this, but try this, but hey, we have edibles, we have this. Hey, you ever tried Cheetos that were edible? I'm like, no, but I fucking love Cheetos. And then sooner or later, you realize you're just, there's just so much things that have weed in it. And it's like, you want to try them all. But then again, if you try them all, you're going to pass out. And it's like, you wake up two days later and you're like, wow, do I remember what I ate? But there are some delicious things. And I will be going over that because, yes, there is a macaroni and cheese that's infused. And you would never know. And I think one of these days, I would love to give uh, our star, James, over here some mac and cheese around the holidays. And just don't think it's regular mac and cheese. Mm, it's not going to be that easy to fool me, sir. It's very, cool. We'll see. It's very obvious. That it's no, because I'm gonna bring like a potato salad and bring that, and then just like switch it up on them. Awesome. Why would you? Why do you have to like fake? Like, why do you have to like trick me to get high? You don't have to do that. I don't know, but I just want you to tell the difference because then you're gonna like no, that just sounds wait like for it to hit you when you like eat the macaroni. He's like, okay, wait, it's gonna give me high like right now. No, I want you to be like, oh, this mac and cheese no, is this amazing. This is what I think. This is what I think. I think you're giving yourself an excuse to drug somebody and get away with it. Uh, that's funny. No. I think that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> also, people like certain movies, and that I would have to say, what would be your Either top three or top five movies that you think. Two, three. Two, two, three. Go ahead. Top three that you would watch high. High? Hmm. See, this that's difficult because I don't. It does. I can watch any movie high. Yeah, but what's like. No, no, a, no, no, no. It doesn't so, be a stoner movie particularly. But that's either. the thing, though. I'm a little bit um a cliche whore, and I love stoner movies yes. when I'm high. I, I don't know. It just it seems appropriate. It's like yeah, you know, like you're there with them. <laughs> yeah, it's like, exactly. You know, yeah. it's just it's like, like yeah, I just smoked too. Yeah, fuck. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so maybe you do have to boost it to top five because I have a lot. But you should go first, or you want to go back and forth, just in case we can do back and forth. But I have because I, at least I, have I have a top five, but I don't have any. Like I don't have. They're all equally number one. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not. See, I won't go one through five. Like, yeah, I'm just be, gonna name. The yeah, five. I'm not ranking. I'm not ranking. I'm not ranking. Them I'm not ranking them, but these are my five. I would five. have to really think why I would rank. And plus, them. we might agree on some. So go. I think you we should. might have the same one too. Okay, so you should start. Uh, one movie that I would say I enjoy watching, especially how it would have to be Friday. Friday. Okay, that that I didn't think of that one, but that might be at the end of my list. So it's we'll a good see. one. That's a very good one. Smoke dog, remember that shit. Ice, Ice Cube, Chris Tucker. It's a fantastic movie about face just how, love. how just you know. Oh, you know what's his face? Pops, yeah. yeah. Pops and and uh, Debo. Debo, yeah. All right, rest in peace. I know. Um, and then it has uh, Regina King in there. Yeah. For those who don't know, that's the voice of Riley and Huey in the Boondocks. Yeah. So, I love and, that show. Yeah, Friday's a good pick, and there's a lot of weed smoking in there. Yeah, fair amount. Yeah, a lot, but it's good. It's fun. Smokey was my favorite. It's fun. It's just a great neighborhood movie where you're like, that's how it is. In the and movie. it involved weed scenes here and there. Oh, yeah, yeah. of course, but it's great. But it was a regular neighborhood movie. Yeah, loved it. All right, uh, that'd so be one of mine. I'm going to just start off of the back because it's always in the back of my head. Half-baked, you know, I can't help it. That- Dave. Dave Chappelle, you know what I it's mean? It's like it, it's like 
if you're watching that movie for whatever reason and you're not baked, it's like you start looking around like, I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Yeah. You feel guilty watching that movie. It's a quotable fucking movie, though. Yeah. I mean, there'll be times at work where I just remember like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're, you're cool. cool. Fuck, fuck you, you, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I've done that at work, literally on the mic. I want to do that so bad. <laughs> I mean, and then there's another one. Is like, don't worry. I know what everybody's thinking. They could flip you out. Freak, flip out, man. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, uh, <laughs> what part of Jamaica are you from? Me from near the beach, man, <laughs> boy. How's it going? And he was like, uh, "It's like, oh, grab you and your Mexican friend." I'm Cuban B, yes. yes. Cuban, Cuban B. B. Oh, okay, we could probably quote for this the rest yeah, of this podcast. Yeah, for a while. So you should go ahead with your your, your uh, second. Um, well, I mean, if we're gonna throw Avi's out there, I'm definitely gonna have to say how high. How high? Okay, I don't fucks with how high high that much. I mean, it's, it's funny, but it's. Rare. I won't watch it because of. Like, I'm smoking, I'll watch it because it's a funny movie. Yeah. It involves a lot of smoking. But you're supposed to pick something that you wa- you like watching high. I mean, that's It goes both ways for okay. that one. Okay. But I like watching those movies while I'm high, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So either way, that's a good movie, too. Yeah, it's pretty good. You know what? Maybe I think I should I think I should switch up the genre because it's always... We've done comedies this whole time. I feel like there's other uh, movies that you can watch went high and it's not like i mean i had two like, more that weren't like I, and I'm, uh hold on let me say mine so you said we see we you got two and i got one so far so let me think i feel like i have a movie i'm, I'm looking at my collection of movies seeing something that's not a comedy that i will probably be like this is great to watch high hmm uh, you know what this is gonna be a blanket statement and, and tell me if I can get away with it. Any kung fu movie. Yeah. I don't mind watching somebody like getting their ass kicked. I don't like, think a specific kung fu movie. But no, I, feel like I would enjoy fu- all of them. Yeah, like it doesn't matter what kung I mean, fu movie. I watch, like, I watch It Man. Watching that when you're high is great. I watch It Man and Rumble in the Bronx really high as fuck. And I, and I enjoyed like... Yeah. Like all of that, Rumble of Bronx High would be fantastic. Yeah, like it was just like I do remember this, but Jackie right Chan. now it feels brand new to me. Right yeah, now, yeah, Jackie Chan and everything. Yeah, I can watch they're Jackie Chan. Even, and you're like, oh my god, why do they think? Why do they think we think they're in the Bronx? Because they're not. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like, you know, oh, that's our security system going, uh, <laughs> going haywire. Haywire right if now. If you guys can hear that, squirrel, thing. squirrel. All right, so that's that's a good to round it up like that too i would agree on kung fu movies if uh, okay so you said something that's not comedy or that would be a kung yeah, fu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. also said, yeah, like too. i've watched um the movie kids oh hi you would want to watch kids high i've seen it high with a group of friends is that a movie that you were like i'm ready to do this again no so no that doesn't count. no definitely but i, I you're I trying to pick something that you want to watch requiem, when you're high. requiem of a dream yeah, you, that movie you like I that watch, movie I like watching high. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's kind trippy. Of it's trippy. It got a lot of like shroomy scenes. Yeah, I think the only time they ever smoke weed was when they were coming down from everything else. To yeah, they, yeah, it, but that's fine. It didn't have to, you know. No, but it was good to watch. You were just like right. you couldn't get your eyes off it, and it's just like, damn, there's so many good actors that are like young in that movie, and it's yeah. like shit. It's, same thing with kids. It's pretty fucked up, but it's like you see like. Oh shit! He was on from next Friday and stuff. He's like uh, the white boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You fucked up, white boy. <laughs> um, what other one? Okay, so you got three, I, and now this is my third. I'm gonna go uh, Pineapple Express. Oh yeah, talk radio. Talk radio. God, so boring. <laughs> I know that is good. that is a good Seth, one. Seth Rogen, James Franco. Yeah. Yeah, Craig Robinson. Danny. Danny McBride. Yeah. yeah. Let's forget their last name. We go with last name. So good. Such a good. It's a good cast. It's a good one. It's a really good cast. It's such a good Judd Apatow movie. Yeah. Rosie Perez. Rosie Perez. Yeah. She, you know, she kicks ass in that movie, you know? A little bit, yeah. A little bit. 
A little short but ass. Just, there's just so many lines. Yeah. yeah. There's I, a fair amount. I thought hurricane season was over. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, Did yeah. Did you sit down and watch 227 with me? I had another one in my head. I'm trying to think. Oh, um, shit. No, but it's another comedy, so it's like... Eh. That's fine. I, I went back, too. Yeah, I was going to throw Harold and Kumar in it. You like watching that? I, I've, have you watched it? Yeah, watch you it. yeah, you did. I watch enjoy it. watching it. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's funny, man. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. It's like you can't mix too many serious movies with, like... I mean, yeah, you can watch some serious, but it's like... I know, but I <laughs> usually you watch it once, though. Like, if I'm going to watch... A certain movie wide. It's like, not a, a movie you rewatch. Yeah, I'm probably it's never gonna brand. watch it again. Like or a really fucked up documentary like that. That that too. Like I watched King Kong versus Godzilla really baked. And it helped. Yeah. Because I mean I don't know if you've seen it yet, but for anybody who hasn't seen it, it it's a good movie. You just have to be okay with them talking a bunch. Yeah. In between like the fighting scenes, so it's yeah. like. And we're going to give you a solid 40 minutes of this bitch rambling. And then yeah. after that, somebody's going to die. <laughs> yeah. Or, or Godzilla's going to make an appearance. Or, you know, King Kong's going to come out of nowhere. And then they get all sentimental. Like, oh, Kong is really... Oh, I know, bitch. Let them fight. Shut up. My. Right. That's it. Yeah. And then, besides movies, that was a good category of selections. Mm-hmm. A lot of people like to play certain songs. Okay, so let's do songs. When it comes to 420. Yeah. And it's like, this is like this is for like people who take 420 and utilize it as a very taken serious holiday. Yeah, some people actually only go out of their way to smoke only in 420. Yeah, like, you know what? I only smoke once a year and it'd be that year. Yeah. Or they'll try to like challenge some, or their think lungs. think of how many people that are starting to smoke yeah. just because of this day. Oh uh, yeah, newcomers, a lot of yeah, virgins. Like a great, a great way to to jump into the loop. I mean, yeah, but I also believe it's just them following the cloud and following, you know. Well, whatever. Or curiosity. Yeah, I, I mean, I got, I get, I get where you're coming from. You but know, people I don't know. use oh, social media. Let's do it. Yeah, it's like if we, if we, I got a brick. No, you don't put that kind of things on social media. <laughs> you got one. Good job. Smoke <laughs> it. Call some friends over. You know. Yeah. Play some shit. Um, music, I would think growing up would have to be a lot of Bone Thugs and Harmony. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like they literally had titles to like da, 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 first of the da, month. Yeah, you know, weed it's song, it's <laughs> weed heads, it's the first of the month. smoking get Buddha. It, yeah. Like they literally had like everything that was like involving weed, and it made the music so like happy. Yeah, uplifting. No, so good. Even even Crossroads, as sad as yeah. it is, I felt like they smoked a whole Oh, they break. smoked the whole time. And they were like, I'm going to miss everybody. I'm going to miss everybody. I miss my uncle, Joe, Joe. You know, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like I feel you, bro. Like, right now, I'm smoking a blunt. I'm, I'm, a, a tear came by. Like, yeah. this is fucked up. You I'm know? not going to stop smoking, though. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's just like, oh, and then nowadays a lot of people are like, you know, they, they're they they're not smokers, but they're down for the high. So they'll try like, you know, drops or they'll try shit. They even had weed mints. You know, here, pop a fucking mint and you'll get a little buzz. Like they literally have infused almost everything. Yeah. And people are starting to be open to it because the only thing they were scared of was smoking and inhaling smoke. So it's like, you know what, if I can just get that without having to light anything up or burn my finger or burn my lip or, you know, okay, cool. Teach us all. And if you want to try a different way, I meant, and that's what people are doing, which is okay. They're exploring. Fuck it. It's 2021. Do it. But yeah, yeah a lot of Bone Thugs are Harmony and like, uh, Be Real. Yeah. Of people course. Like that. Um, Tupac and Biggie. Yeah. Why not? Just because. Yeah. You, I'm guaranteeing everybody who heard Tupac and Biggie had a joint in their hand or rolled one up. It's just their music was just good. So and how high I know how high and and how faked when they um what was the name of the character that that Dave Chappelle shit played as that like the the he was the rap star. What what scene? 
you know, like, I want to talk to Samson. Take me to the moon. Like, what's the name of that rapper? Oh, man. That's a good one. And I and I hear it uh, the, playing the scene in my head. Yeah. As talking but as, what was his name? It was something funky. Damn. It was just such a... Ah, my back. My doctor says I need a back on me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They, cause they, I felt like they said it like once. Yeah, probably. MC, MC something or Mr. Rap Mask. I don't know. Something uh, like damn. really cheesy. Yeah. And I think they said it like once. And then after that, it was just like, yeah, we need to get some high-end clientele and all that. Yeah. And that was that one, yeah. So... I mean, any music that you prefer to listen to? When oh, let's think. Hmm. I mean, it's a lot of different shit. You know, it don't have to be music about stoners. Like, no. like Bootsy Collins. No. I'd rather be with you. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can listen to that shit all day high as fuck. Like, and I just start doing a little Snoop Dogg slow dance. Right. Right. I think anything... I, I think I can listen to really anything, but um, I guess like I'm gonna be cliche and like if I'm like want to be productive, I'll put like a lo-fi track on. That's good. Okay. Like lo-fi music. Okay. You know, as far as like a specific genre of person, I don't think I, don't, I can't think of anything. I don't know. I feel like every time I'm high, like I wouldn't mind, and I enjoy old school music. Yeah. I, I like the new school is like too upbeat and hype unless nah it is yeah it's just it too is. much right now rather that old vibe and just you know sitting on a couch chilling and shit yup playing a video game right? that's another thing certain video games I didn't mind playing when I was high I could, play, I could play Tetris really well when I'm high I could see that it's a puzzle <laughs> game I believe so that. I, I, I might play a little bit better when I'm high so I believe that, that. So, because I'm dying over here, uh, I, I'm going to start playing some videos. Because that's what you do when you smoke sometimes. and Watch uh, some shit. Well, you watch some shit on the internet. So, I've compiled some stuff I found around the internet that's really cool that I want to show my cousin. And let's get this one on full screen. It might take a little bit. Um. So let's just watch the video and then you tell you tell right, I'm you. I'm trying to see you what I'm looking at right you now. You tell see everybody a lot of what white you see. Skin. There you go. So let's see. All right, I'm gonna press play and then you don't have to talk. You go know, ahead. and just let me know what you see afterwards. Oh. Go, go. She's not a punching bag. Also, you should really change arms. Change arms. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> So, yeah. Well, what was that? So, from what I'm looking at is this Harry Potter looking motherfucker. Wrist deep in, which I which I hope she's of age, white girl. Tooting that little ass back. And he is basically grabbing her soul out of her ass hole. And it looks like a little redhead next to him videotaping yeah. it. And this has to be an only fans clip worth at least twenty three ninety nine. So, so, but the video though, the video is being shot from the uh, like the other building across, across, yeah. And they're looking out their window, and this it's this other apartment building. I mean, that's and a fucking they, show. And they literally have their blinds wide open. The lighting He's is all his out. Best life. They got, and this guy is one fist fisting. At a time the soul out of this girl like everything it's crazy and it's like you know it's funny it's like there's one and i think that's funny because if you hear the background of these people talking they have yeah, some it's like hilarious one real con- good audience member he's like she's just switch arms bro that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> that's what I'm saying. and then he's like switch yeah, he's arms like, really yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all you had to say right right here you should really change your arms Change arms, arms, Mike? Like, are you serious? Like, is that all you have to say right now? Like, why were you offended? It's true. Like, you're going to give yourself a cramp, bro. I know. He's not thinking about it. You know, the guy's thinking of the strategy. He is going. He is going. At a solid pace. Like, he's not Mayweather speed on punching that that asshole. No, but he's definitely sparring. He's definitely, yeah. He's he's doing doing the sway back. But you know what, though? 
Like Let's one, two, one. one, two. She's one, a two. champ. Oh yeah, she's she's she getting is that asshole a beaten up. Champ. Yeah. Like, there's no resistance. No. And the homegirl is MVP. She's probably seen some shit. Yeah, she's she's dang. I mean, she's got it. She's in the danger zone. She's right there. She's right there. If she slips, she'll fall in. Yeah, that's yeah. It's gonna be hard to get out. Yeah, she's gonna fall in that asshole. She's she's got to be careful with that camera. It's expensive. So that's kind of wild. That was a cool one, right? It's kind of a. Uh, Let's see what else I got going on here. That looks like it's Tuesday night. Yeah, that's, that's something fun to do on a Tuesday night. Is get your asshole Tuesday fucking night, blown out. No. Um, my... let's see what what's going on in Romania. <laughs> I've seen this before. <laughs> And you know what? <laughs> Wait. And then you go back again. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. <laughs> it's wrong, but it's hilarious. It's so wrong. It is. It's appalling how wrong it is. But. <laughs> Yo, if you let her go, I think I would have died laughing. I so. was waiting for it. So. Go ahead and describe what you think you see. Um, it's this four foot two <laughs> old lady, and this is definitely some foreign shit. This right is here. definitely like it's. I think it's like Romania or it, some. It, like it, you feel, was, it feels like, like a Romanian. Definitely a that. fucking like a that tracksuit is definitely yeah, Romanian. The track okay. suit and everything. Yeah. So she has this little, this little old lady, you know, a little yellow co- like and, coat. And he's grabbing her by the shoulders. Well, you know, he's reaching and grabbing the slack of the jacket on her shoulders. And he's swinging her in 360. And he puts her down. I mean, he puts her down gently for the most part. And she's, she's swinging. Out just, ah! <laughs> and he puts her down and she's freaking out. And everybody's at the bar laughing because oh, yeah. They're all it's, 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 it's. It's pretty fucked up and wrong. It's somebody's grandmother. But the reason why it might not be that wrong is because she can be a pain in the ass probably. She probably yeah. fucking slapped yeah. one of their kids. She probably threw uh, rotten milk or eggs at somebody. She's she probably got karma. A, she's going for a whirl. Yeah, she's probably just a cold bitch. Just because they're old there doesn't mean they're sweet. They could be like yeah, the worst yeah, people. She could be an asshole right now. She could probably do brujeria, all we know. Oh, absolutely. So they're probably clowning her right now. She, But let's be, let's be honest. She was not injured. <laughs> no. Maybe he put terrified. Her down, he put her down gingerly. Maybe terrified, but he fine. did not injure this old no, lady. No. It's hilarious. Though. But, I mean. But that's somebody I would. I would love to think that it was. Uh, it's true. That's somebody I would. Yeah. <laughs> he just he just pick her up and she's just, she just fucking. But that's hilarious. And then he ran back to he go do it again. Away. Yeah. He ran back so quickly. Yeah, that was that was uh yeah, I've seen that one before. That's funny. All right. So, let's see. Oh, uh, you know, sometimes you wake up in the morning and um it looks like it's about to rain. You know? Hey, does anybody want coffee? Who wants coffee? I just made a fresh pot of coffee. Does anybody want coffee? Who wants coffee? Does anybody want coffee? Who wants coffee? What the fuck is going on, man? You want, you want coffee? Listen, you're I just, I just made coffee. Does anybody want coffee? Who wants coffee? Buddy, do you want coffee? Do you want coffee? I just made coffee. Who wants coffee? Does anybody want coffee? 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 Somebody want coffee? Want coffee? I'm like, come on. It's a valid coffee? question. Does anybody want? I Not just one. Made, I just yeah. made a French pot of coffee. Does anybody want coffee? Oh, man, but his voice is going to haunt me. Yeah. It's the yeah. hardest New York accent. I've yeah. So, why didn't anybody just want, say I want coffee? I don't know, but it did look empty to me. I know, but I would have been like, uh, yeah. Pour me a cup, Joe. Yeah. 
So it, it, just to describe it, it's just a guy yelling what you heard, um, asking if everybody, anybody want coffee in the like middle in of like, it looks style. like a, yeah, it looks like a, yeah, a gas station, super, you know, and then <laughs> that motherfucker pumped my gas the other day. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and then the, 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 you just asked. And, but it, the thing is, is it kind of makes me think that there's some sort of like stageness to it. Like he was obviously, like he's doing a bit, but I feel like maybe people. Some people really don't care though. Some people honestly. I know. They're just like, yeah, we're going to, we need to get his natural reaction of him not knowing this is for real. So. Oh, yeah. I also would love to see somebody lose their mind. You know, like that, that would have been more fun for me to know that this like guy if was. Like actually hit him. This guy was, no, that this guy was actually crazy and he's just really concerned about people getting coffee yeah like he's really like he's just, I wonder how early it was and the, the sun was fairly out so i'm gonna say that this is probably like after it's probably like four <laughs> four during the day <laughs> shit it's a crucial time too all right and um okay here's it here's another gem this one this one's kind of it's kind of sexual Hey. Hey. I mean, but like, why is he sitting up and she's just like, I mean, come on, if he's got balance up there, why you ain't standing up? Cause you like it, white girl. He just slapped that ass. He did. He did not. <laughs> he literally. Okay. My concern is. That kid either is really excited about the situation or he has special needs. <laughs> it took you this long to figure that out? Just saying, I would look like that at that. <laughs> yeah, the, he is. Yeah, it's the, he has special needs. I would still be locked onto her like a pit bull. So, what did you see? So what we saw was a was this bull riding machines? I guess a, a bull riding scenario with a nice proper light skin milf, um, sharing the hot seat with. He's got to be no more than ten, twelve years old. We don't. We don't know. know. I don't but think it's he, a young kid. I don't think he he might not be a kid. Well, he's a young kid. You no, he's. He's he's got. You think teenager? No, he's got he's Down syndrome. <laughs> I don't know. Dog. This guy has Down syndrome. Yeah, but still, it doesn't mean he got the Benjamin Button syndrome either. No, no, it's but just in the face. I know, but I'm I'm just saying he could be a lot older. He'd be well, he's built pretty frail. Let's just say he's under age. Okay, he's under not the though. age of eighteen. He's probably not. You guys got to see this video. He really thinks he's the over age age. He, he, Whatever. I, well, this autistic have, this autistic gentleman who I can hope autistic. Work. He, he has Down syndrome. Well, yeah, Down syndrome. She made me change my words. But Down this syndromic kid is on the bull, and the mechanic is legendary because <laughs> he is just he's controlling him, the whole scenario. Like he's basically making it look like the the special needs kid is pounding this milf in the butt. And the face is priceless because yeah. it is a kid in Disney. Yeah, he's, it is generally he's he is very time. happy. He's having a good time. And you hear people in the background like, like I feel like they're giving him thumbs up. Yeah, and like taking their beer and just like, yeah, like this. That's this butt's for you. And you know what? He actually stood on for a decent time. Oh yeah, he managed to get at least twelve pumps in. He a lot. Yeah, I think he came. I mean, I would. I almost. So yeah, I'm just saying. That that was great. Good for you, kid. Oh, this one's fun. Everybody, speaking of like you know, lovely grandmothers. Wow. Oh, 
<laughs> I feel it. <laughs> Yo, that shit cracks me up. So is this uh there this like fucking like this restaurant and uh just a family get together with uh it's in Germany, obviously it's in German and uh the grandma just felt like cheers, you know, having a toast to the the Fuhrer. She said, Hell Hitler. <laughs> twice no three times oh I didn't three know. times and, and it's so funny because the third like the right before the third time it's like the, the the grandson or whatever is literally like like eyeing her down like you don't fucking stop fucking being fucking ruining everything it's like you better say it. stop your racist shit now and then and then, <laughs> and then she's just like fuck it hell hitler <laughs> I'm like, wow. Oh, people could be fun sometimes. Yep, this one's fun. This one should have been spun around. Yo, what was that drink that they had that's supposed to, like, mind fuck the shit out of you? It was, like, absence? Or absence. Yeah, but that was... That's the, they don't make it the same anymore. I heard that, too, yeah, but I still hear it's, like, illegal. Illegal! No, I don't think so. Mm. That's oh. a shame. Yeah, I can't wait till you describe what you see here. It's a shame. Oh. Hmm. Oh no. So oh, this one no. didn't have audio, uh, but that's fine because it 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 was it looked like it was a TikTok and it probably had uh, music on there. But uh. Oh man, I'm gonna sound like an asshole. But uh, what what did what did you want me to play it again so you can see? Read no, the, that's an ugly situation. Says. Holy shit! So and dancing is a um, somebody with a genetic disorder, and it says haters. You have a genetic disorder. You shouldn't have a baby. And then she she, and then me, I prove them wrong. And she's holding her her child that her looks gremlin. I mean, her- it look it looks like a pug. Her daughter looks like a pug. Yeah, like a, a like, gremlin mixed with a pug. Yeah, like there's a cuteness to it, but you're also like, I don't know, there's something about them. It's cute if you're going to put it back in a cage. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm sorry, but... You know all, You know what I all I learned from this, right? Is to thank myself that I look good. Like, no. <laughs> all I learned is um, that it doesn't matter where you are on the scale. There's always a guy... To fuck you, ladies. Just letting you know. Yeah, I don't. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. I don't sound like that, man. I ain't had shit. I ain't no model or anything, but I definitely don't look like a cast member of Ghosts and Ghouls. But <laughs> yeah. wow, yeah, she has a noticeable disorder in her face. <laughs> yeah, but her baby has a really noticeable. I know. Disorder. It's like she gave. I love how ba- she's like haters say you shouldn't have a baby, and then she's like, "Prove, prove me, I'm prove them wrong." I'm like, I "No, no, no, it's not think like you, you couldn't. It's that you shouldn't." I, and, I don't and this think is why it made them necessarily haters. I think they were trying to save her, but like, I know. Please, this don't. is her TikTok though, so she thinks they're haters. She thinks these people who tell her, "Hey, you want to see something fucking crazy?" And you just rip it out, and it's like, yeah, that's my daughter. What it should have said. It looks like an inbred. What it should have. <laughs> well, that's kind of what happens. What should have said was when it said, oh, me, and instead of haters, it should have said, concerned citizens would say. Because <laughs> that's. Oh, man. Yeah. That I was mean, freaky. but technically, maybe. See, you're wrong. You could be wrong because you said technically there was someone out there. Who had sex with her. There's also sperm banks. I know, but... But if there's a sick fuck no. out there <laughs> and you had sex with this goblin... But just because she looks like that, you don't think that she deserves it? Is I didn't it say she deserves it. Wait, stop. It. Is it hard for you to believe... It just goes to show, ladies, that you have all oh, the it's control. it's not hard to believe. The, you have, have all the it. control of the world. I'm like, this. anything. Yeah, exactly. So... Doesn't matter, ladies, who you are. But you're gonna there's get a line. No matter what, drugs are required to hit that. <laughs> hey, um, 
Speaking of hitting things, <laughs> did oh, you see the, the, the Ben Asker and Jake Paul fight? Oh, God. The YouTube sensation. Yep. Yes. And and how he knocked out Ben Askren like in the first round. This with fat, an overhand. Out right. of shape. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was pretty it's pretty bad. Because he kind of represented the MMA community, but not well. But um anyway, oh, here's a video of uh the commentary I think, was funny. I think that this guy should be um uh, Jake's next opponent because I think he actually has a chance. It's way better than what Oh man, yo, he has that little that that guy's hilarious. He has a couple. There's a couple of videos out there of. I think it's in Russia. I think it's Russia. Guarantee. What? Well, what, what do you mean? A couple of videos? Like a couple of videos like this? <laughs> He's got the gloves on. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's this little dude who um. He's just a little dude in Russia, and he's tough. He's just angry. Like he's definitely like in his forties or fifties. He's, he's grown. Just, he's a grown dude. <laughs> and he's just and he's got moves, man. He's beating people up like twice his size. He's a pissed little man. He is so angry. He's got so much like puss in him. You know who I would love to see him fight? Jake Paul. No, somebody <laughs> better. I would honestly Don't love say to Beetle see Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, yeah. Oh god, you're just fucked up. You're it's just wanted to put you, you. You just actually just like oh, it looks just like him. It's gotta be Beetlejuice. <laughs> It's gotta see Beatrice. He's hilarious. I, I've seen more. him. I, I think I'll be like, oh, this this may be the last one. We'll see. So uh, let's see what we're looking at right here. Oh, this one's a long one. This one's like a minute. Minute and change. So far, we're looking what looks like a giant Sorry. bullfrog. Yep. Bullfrog. That. No, he's not. Yeah. What are we seeing? It definitely looks like he just finished eating White Castle. It's basically a a a, a, a bullfrog taking a human shit. <laughs> Cause that is like, oh my god, that's a Taco Tuesday shit right there. That is a human size shit that this bullfrog's taking. But not any human, like a human who went to Golden Corral. Yeah, and yeah, and was yeah, and it. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah. yeah. That is impressive right there. Like, I would think, if I was walking down that sidewalk, I'm like, what? I think a bum took a shit in Yeah, I'm like, away. what disgusting fucking bum took a shit here? And it, w- uh, and it wouldn't For have been all a bum. you who like reptiles and frogs and shit like this and all that, and you want to own one as a pet, think twice, because you might have to pick yeah. up a shit this big. That is the size of my hand. It is. I don't have big took a, a fucking a, a, a fucking big load, man. That big shit came out of that little frog. The, that was the, a ginormous shit. He lost weight. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think that was the last one. Yeah. So that's that was all I good. Have with videos. <laughs> that was good. Good. I'm glad. Glad you enjoyed it. But um, yeah. I don't know. I think this is it for me. <laughs> this might be a short one. Yeah, I think it was good. I think we need to spend the rest of the 420 actually, uh, actually doing celebrating some it. 420 activities. So this is pretty much an update of everything. You know, this is something to just you know enjoy. Oh, it's like smoke and talk session, but at yeah. the same time, people kind of want to know what's the big deal. It's not a big deal. No. If you're a smoker, keep smoking. Mind your fucking business. Stop making it a fashion statement. Let's just say that. It it was cool back in the days. Now it's just like, I smoke because I need to smoke. I don't I got know. problems. I got kids. I can't sleep. I got, uh, I don't eat. I don't, I mean, you know. I, I am going to go as far as though, like, I don't, I think it's, I don't think kids should smoke. I, I don't think so either unless they have seizures and you're doing some drops no, or something like that. But that's different though. That's different. Yeah, like there's other I, I don't think kids should smoke. I always think that's always like I only became a heavy smoker in my thirties. And I feel like that's fair because it's like I'm grown, I know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? 
But when I see kids get like obliterated, like fucking to the moon high, and you're just right. like, and I'm just like, come on, kid, do that shit when like life hits you hard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to <laughs> you be know honest, what I mean? like you, you enjoy the like because me, I've never did any of those that type of thing when I was younger, and I'm glad I didn't because I feel like I I have such vivid memories, and you know, I feel and, like I started super, fun. I started super young, and that's kind of how like i had that how high story yeah uh minus the the dead friend giving me sat scores that'd be pretty cool that would have been cool that didn't happen though but it was yeah. more like the the meetup that's how i've been getting like best friends and family with you know mm -hmm. my boy lewis and um that's how it was it was like you know one had a dutch and one had bud and i lived by the school so it was like so easy to skip and yeah. yeah, mom, it was pretty easy. Um, mom will go to work early in the morning, and as soon as she leaves, we could just go right there. No, her break was at 12.30, and it was this, like, little back alleyway in my house. And it was just, like, a divider into the other houses and all their new fencing. So it would just be this patch of grass that, you know, we'll set up chairs and bring a small radio over there and just wait 30 minutes back there. Then she'll go back to work, and that was it. And... 420 we did that and it was like all the grown kids the high schools would be skipping all that and who we were just middle school kids following you know the bad crowd but it ended up being some like half-baked moments for real like first time getting the munchies yeah how creative you think mm -hmm. like i do recall a creation that involved peanut butter some jelly that i had left over from denny's and Captain Crunch. Yeah, you become a chef. It was and it was good. You become a lot of things when you're high on weed. It's great. I even put plantain chips in a peanut butter sandwich. I can get sweet and savory. No jelly though. You can do it. You can get away with that when you're like that. It's the driest fucking sandwich ever. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> you could probably do some of those Reese's pretzels that you have in the fridge. Mm. And then I discovered chocolate covered bacon. Yeah. At a very early age. And I fell in love with it. But I knew it wasn't good to eat it all the time. It's not good. That's why it's not a thing anymore. Yeah. Only in carnivals when they don't give a fuck. Yeah. That's when I get it. Yeah. Santa's Enchanted Forest this year. I'm going to get that. If they have it. That's where I got it last. All right. We'll end it with this question. What's your favorite munchie food? Huh. Like meal or snack? Snack. 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 I would have to go with like a cookie dough ice cream. Mm, that's pretty good. I would say. See, I was gonna say cookies at first, and I was like, "Yeah, cookies. I can do cookies all day." But I think I'm gonna switch that. I, I love baking the cookies, and like when I'm high. And all oh, that. fresh baked cookies for sure. Yeah, when I'm high and I'm baking cookies, that's great. But, um, no, I'm thinking, like, snacks. Like, I think, like, Reese's. I knew you were going to say that, and I was kind of... Yeah, I knew I was going to say it, too. Torn between, like, peanut butter cups or peanut butter stuff. But, like, I, would, I would take that in ice cream, too. Yeah. But just ice cream, you know, is a good, like, when you're high in cotton mouth and you just, like... Like, right now, I might consider some ice cream, but... You're right. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, exercise the celebration more today. Yeah. Kind of prepped up for that one. But yeah, ice cream is the way to go. For sure. Well, in that case... I'm going to end it. Because I'm, I'm, I think this is it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> this is like the, the weirdest podcast ever. It's so bad. But it's good because I, 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 it's 420. Yeah, what the fuck you want it to be? We're high. Exactly. Smoking. So which you should this do. This is gonna be more of a sample or like a little like experiment for you guys to listen to something that's shorter because it's not even an hour. But then if you really want to listen to us while we're that high, we're not we're not that fun. It's all good though. I'm still hilarious and I'm still high. And my appointment is about to happen right now, guys. Wow. So I guess we're gonna end it then. Catch us uh next week. Yeah, next next Sunday will be something back to normal, but 
Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Don't Feed the Animals Podcast. Let's see who'll be our special guest next time. Working on that right now. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what that will be. Um, also, I'm forgetting what I'm saying. Also, yeah, no, it's gone. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, it's I have nothing. Yeah, stay classy, y'all. Until next time, please don't feed the animals. Under the bridge and they'll tell you about your problem. Gotta gotta go talk to Gotta 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 go ahead and go ahead and talk to Gotta go ahead and baby gotta talk to Gotta go ahead and get your feelings out, baby. Go ahead and talk to it. Gotta talk to Talk to me, baby. Yo, I wanna help Talk to me, baby. Girl, I wanna help Talk to me, baby. Boy, I wanna help Talk to me, baby. Boy, I wanna help Talk to me, 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 talk to me. Gotta exercise, gotta exercise, gotta exercise your mind.